Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you, in my opinion, what might be the easiest card trick that you could not, you know, screw up, and uh, the ending effect is really, really cool. So what you could do is you could take the deck, you could have the spectator cut it a few times if they wanted to, you know, just making sure to mix up the deck a little bit. And essentially what you do is you explain to them that, you know, obviously a deck is filled with red and black cards, right? So what you're gonna do is have them kind of decide. You're gonna stick the deck face down, and what you're gonna do is say, okay, so, um, let's say you're red cards and I'm black cards. All right, so now the way this is going to work is you're going to take the first card off the deck, and if you think it's red, what you'll do is put it in the pile right in front of you, and if you don't know, then you can put it in a junk pile over here. And once we start going, you'll see kind of what it looks like, right? So the spectator gets to choose, all right, so do you think this card's red or not, right? The spectator says, all right, maybe, okay, I think this card's red, and then it's my turn. So I'll think, all right, so now I don't think this is a black card. I'll just put it in my junk pile. The spectator goes, all right, you know what, I'm not too confident. Maybe this one is a red card. Like over here, okay, I think this one's a black card. And the spectator might think this one's a red card. You know, I might think this one's a black card. The spectator isn't going to know what card this one is. They don't know for sure. And basically, you tell them this is all based on feeling. You know, you just touch the deck, and if you can just feel it's a black card, for example, then I'll take I'll take a black card. And the spectator just feels like this card's going to be a red card. They'll put it in the red pile, but let's say, you know, I pick this card up and I just, you know, I'm not too confident. I don't know if it's a black or red card. I'll put it over there. So essentially what you do is you and your spectator are going to go through the entire deck, just kind of, you know, trying to figure out which card is which, just by the feeling of it. And essentially you're, you can go down the entirety of the deck all the way until the very last card. And that's basically how the trick is going to look like. And then at this point, what you're going to do is, um, like I said, you can go through the entire deck. I'm not going to do it right here. It's going to take forever. But with the spectator, maybe you can do this with the group of people as well. Um, not a big deal, but uh, I'm not going to do this on the camera. It's going to take forever. So let's say, say that we went through the entire deck. At the very end of the trick, there's no cards here. All the deck is split up into four piles. You can snap your fingers, and just like that, you take the junk piles. Okay, these ones don't matter, all right, because basically we don't know what those are. But look, these were all the cards that you thought were red from the deck, and you can flip it over just like this and show the spectators that all the cards that they picked were actually red and all the cards I thought were black turned out to be black as well. So this is a trick. Like I said, it's super easy and you're going to do this with the entire deck when you do the actual performance and then I'll actually show you guys how to do it uh, right now. Alright, so the way you start off is you actually just have to put the deck um, into red and black order, so red or, red or black alternating order. So you have the deck all spread out. Every single card is going to be alternating red or black just like this perfectly. And that's honestly the only setup, and that's pretty much it. And then you, what you could do is have the spectators go ahead and cut the deck a few times, because that isn't really going to change the order of the alternating cards. You can overhand shuffle the deck by cutting it, just by taking the half the deck, moving it to the top, making sure not to do an actual overhand shuffle. But it looks like you're shuffling the cards, when in reality you're really not. Uh, you're still keeping that same exact order. So basically that's all you have to do, make sure it's red and black. And then the last part is, what you can do is you can kind of flash the deck to the spectators. You know, they're really not going to catch the fact that it really is all turning red and black off of just one glance. You can flip it over. And what you're doing, actually, is looking at that bottom card. So once the spectator's done cutting up the deck, all you got to do is say, look, so the deck is pretty much, you know, all the cards, there's red and black cards. And what you're doing is you're looking at this bottom card, right? So in this case, it's going to be a black card, which means the top card is going to be a red card because they're alternating order, right? So all you did was you flash the faces a little bit, you, you make it look like the deck is mixed up, but in reality you really just glance at that bottom card and you saw it was black, and because it's black, the top card's gonna be red, okay? So what you have to do, the only thing you have to know is what pile you're giving the spectator. For instance, if I cut the deck and it was a red card, then the top card's gonna be a black, and the spectators are going to get the black pile, right? So what you do is, um, you tell your spectators, okay, so what you're gonna do is go through the deck, right? Obviously, there are red and black cards in the deck, right? They're kind of mixed up. But what I want you to do is just, just by feeling the back of the card, you know, you might feel that, you know, you might feel like it's a red or a black card, right? So in this case, and you kind of force it on your spectators, so, okay, so for instance, let's just say, um, let's just say, you, you know, you want to pick the black cards, right? So can you feel this card and just figure out, you know, is it a black or a red card, right? Or if you don't know, just put it in the junk pile. So say, all right, so if you think it's a black card, put it here. If you don't know, put it here. You take this card, the spectator will put their black card here, and then, you know, and then the next turn, I'll get my red card. So whether or not I put it in my pile or the junk pile, it's still always going to be red because it's an alternating order. So in this case, let's say I think it's a red card, and the spectator gets it. Now, if they put it in the junk pile, it doesn't matter. It's still a black card, and my next choice is still going to be 
a red card. So no matter what, when you're doing these, this alternating order, it doesn't matter what pile you actually end up putting the cards in, but because you're going in that alternating order, you'll always end up getting every single red card and they're always gonna end up getting every single black card. So like I said, guys, you can go through the entire deck just like this with a spectator and do the trick yourself and eventually all the cards will be you know, laid out. Let's just say we've done all the 52 cards here. They'll end up with 26 cards minus whatever their junk pile is. And you, what you do is you don't really wanna show them the junk pile only because, I probably messed up a little bit here because I alternated the order wrong, but um, you don't really want to show them the junk pile because then if they see the junk piles also, you know, the same color of the cards that they chose, they might actually get, um, they might actually get a little bit, you know, suspicious because like, you know, even the junk piles are black as well. So you don't really show them this. You can pick this up just like that. And then, um, you know, they're not going to really, you know, they're only going to see these and you don't really show this to the spectators either because it's all laid out and that's basically the trick guys just make sure the cards are in alternating order and then make sure you know it's not going to and for one person doing the trick on camera um, obviously it's kind of difficult to keep track of which card to put last but when you're doing it with somebody and they're going alternating order um, you know your cards always going to be that other color so you know best of luck with the trick and um, as always guys thanks for watching